So, Ananias is going to carry out the mission, Acts 9, 17, and uh, following. Ananias went his way and entered the house. He took great courage. In centuries since, Christians have had to deal with those who make pretended con uh, conversions to infiltrate the followers of Jesus. Ananias had to overcome this fear and suspicion. And lay his hands on him, he said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you on the road as you came has sent me that you may receive your sight. Laying out of hands in the work words of Brother Saul powerfully communicated the love of God. Blind Saul could not see the love of Ananias' face, so he communicated through his touch and his voice. The ministry of touch must be used with caution and a pure heart not just for the physical experience. We have so many people that love to hug, and uh, are they doing it out of a pure motive? And be filled with the Holy Spirit. This seems to be, uh, it seems that this is when Saul was actually born again. Here is where he received the Holy Spirit, was healed from his blindness, which was spiritual blindness, as much as the physical blindness, be filled. Uh, God has an effective job breaking Saul, and um, he did well at breaking Saul, but it wasn't his intention to leave him broken. God wanted to break Saul so that he could fill him and leave him filled. It is so often that Saul was converted, down, it said that he was converted on the road to Damascus, and uh, his conversion encounter began with the law. And it was not accomplished until the gospel had entered his heart through faith. Notice that so many people have so many divergent backgrounds. And we try to destroy those instead of trying to build upon them. Immediately there fell from his eyes something like scales. And he received his sight once he arose and was baptized. When Saul could see both physically and spiritually, he immediately wanted to identify with Jesus and with the disciples of Jesus by being baptized. We are not told that Ananias uh, told Saul about baptism, but perhaps he, he understood it. He could see Christian baptism since the day of Pentecost, Acts 2.41. Especially God spoke directly to Saul about many things during the time he was waiting for Ananias, including the name of the man who would come pray with him and restore his sight.